Hey there, welcome back to Pepper Geek. In today's video, we'll talk about transplanting peppers. So what is transplanting? Transplanting is just the process of moving your plants into a new growing container. We typically do this twice in a year. This is the first round where these seedlings are going to be moving from their seed cells into their three and a half inch pots. Once the plants outgrow these containers, they'll be transplanted one more time into their final home. Before we get started, be sure to follow us on Instagram at PepperGeek. We post lots of behind the scenes pictures of cool pepper varieties and other things we have going on in the garden. So thanks for checking that out. So one question we get a lot is why not move seedlings directly into their final planting location like a big pot like this one? And there are a couple of reasons. The first is that this much soil retains a lot of water, a lot more water than a plant this size can drink in a reasonable amount of time. So you'll end up with a lot of saturated soil that isn't getting used by the plant and it can invite things like mold and fungus into the unused soil. The other reason is to save space. This right here is six plants, and if we were to transplant them all into 12 inch pots like this one, you can imagine how much space it would take up, and we have something like 60 plants this year. So by gradually increasing the size of the pots, we save a lot of space. And of course, the obvious reason that we transplant is because these plants eventually will outgrow these tiny seedling cells. They only have about an inch and a half by an inch and a half by about two inches deep to grow a full root system. Once that root system reaches the edges, we want to move into a larger container where the roots can continue to grow. So how do you know exactly when to transplant your seedlings? Around two to three weeks after your seedlings sprout, they should be ready to move out of their seed cells. We planted these guys three weeks ago and they're just about ready to transplant. They probably could go another week or so if you didn't have the time to do it, but we're going to start them now. At the two to three week mark, your seedlings should be about two to three inches tall and they should have two to three sets of true leaves. And on the subject of true leaves, if you don't know what they are, the first set of leaves that emerge from the seed as the plant is sprouting, those are called cotyledons, and they look a lot different than true leaves, which come after the cotyledons. So again, two to three weeks, two to three inches tall, and two to three sets of true leaves. All of this will depend on the type of pepper variety as well as how much light they are getting. This is a perfect example right here. This is a Bacatum variety and it's about three inches tall. The one right next to it that was grown in the same conditions is about half the height, but they're both about ready to transplant. If you're still not sure whether your seedlings are ready to transplant, you can carefully check the root system by sliding the soil out of the seed cell. The roots should be reaching the bottom and edges of the soil. You want to catch the plant for transplanting before the roots become too densely coiled and root bound. They'll still survive this, but they may take a bit longer to acclimate. Okay, so with that, let's talk about the supplies that you'll need to get this done. First, of course, you're going to need the containers that the plants will be moving into. We use these three and a half inch plastic pots that we used last year. I just cleaned them up in the sink with some dish soap and they're ready to be reused. You'll need some regular potting soil. This year we are using Happy Frog by Fox Farm, which has a lot of nutrients in it, so it should get the plants off to a good start for the year. You'll need a mixing container to pre-moisten the soil. We're just using a 12 inch pot that will eventually be a pot for one of these plants. You can use gloves to keep your hands from getting dirty if you want, but that's optional. You'll need some masking tape and a Sharpie. That's just to label the new pots with the plant variety. So with all of our supplies in hand, let's get ready to transplant. First, we like to get organized by pre-labeling the plant variety on each of the larger containers. You may not have 60 plants to deal with like us, but even just a few can easily become confused with one another. Fill a mixing container with enough soil to fill the larger pots. Next, pre-moisten the potting mix with water. Use filtered water if you have it because city water can contain chlorine and other chemicals. Add water slowly, mixing thoroughly as you go. The soil should stick together when squeezed, but shouldn't drip any water. If it gets too wet, you can add additional dry soil and mix again. This is also when you can add any soil amendments like Epsom salt or guanos. Fill the pots about three quarters of the way full, compressing until you feel some resistance. Then add more. Use your finger to make a hole large enough to fit the seedlings. You'll be adding more soil around the plant, so it's okay if it isn't quite as deep as the seedlings roots. Now it's time to gently remove the seedlings root ball from its cell. Gently massage the outside of the plastic containers to loosen it. Then flip the tray upside down and carefully pull the plant by its stem. Be very careful not to crush the stem in the process. If it's stubborn, try squeezing again and never use force or you could harm the plant. So this is what a healthy root ball looks like. Roots all the way to the edges and the bottom and ready to continue growing. Pop the seedling into the pre-dug hole in the new pot, centering the stem. Add more soil to surround the seedling's roots filling just to the top of the soil surface, and no further. Burying young pepper stems can lead to stem rot, so we don't recommend it. 
compress the soil around the pepper plant and you're done. All that's left is a quick drink of water and to return the plants to their growing location. And that's it. Hopefully this video helped you learn about transplanting your pepper seedlings. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them below. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.